Hi, this is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com and I'm going to show you how to do a basic uh, 3D effect for text in Photoshop. And uh, one thing that you can do here is I'm going to go ahead and create some text and we'll go ahead and make this a uh, black text just so you can see it a little bit. And we'll go ahead and just type in the word text. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just hit the uh, selection icon, go ahead and move this around and then hit control T on my keyboard. I'm going to transform this, go ahead and make this large, go ahead and hit OK. So then what you do is you come over here to the text layer, just double click it. That will allow you to then be able to uh, edit the text and I don't want this specific font. I'm going to try something else. Um, I'm just going to kind of scroll through here, scroll through a couple uh, fonts till I find the one that I want. Um, I'm going to actually pick this one. I like this one because it's nice and block. It um, has a nice uh, solid look to it. Um, this might be a cool effect too if you use a pixel font, um, but you can do it with any font and that's what I want to show you. So um, you have your layer and what you're going to do is come over here and just double click that um, layer and you'll get your layer styles box and we're going to add a drop shadow we're going to add an inner glow and we're also going to take this um, I'm sorry uh, inner glow and we're going to turn that white and we're gonna hit OK then what we're gonna do is increase the size of that inner glow just a little bit so that it stands out on the text just like that and then we're gonna take the drop shadow and we're just gonna move it out just a little bit like that and that's looking pretty good and if you want you can do a couple other things like bevel and boss just to kinda of give it a little bit of a, a 3D look that's totally up to you and the drop shadow um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kinda of soften that just a little bit I don't want it to be too intense and that looks okay I'm going to take off that inner shadow that I accidentally clicked on and uh, just make sure that our inner glow I'm going to actually go ahead and bump this to 100 just so we can kind of get a nice soft effect just like that um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit OK so that's all I'm going to really do I mean you can you can play with this a little bit more you can add um, any effect that you want um, Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and add one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and do the gradient overlay. I'm going to leave that as well as default. Um, maybe change the opacity down just a little bit. Just get some of those edges coming through. So then hit OK. And we end up with something like this. Now, this is not the 3D effect that I'm looking for because anybody could do that. Well, anybody could do the next step as well. But um, that's just using the default in Photoshop. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to collapse that. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to go ahead and merge these two layers together. And the way you do that is you can um, you can actually do rasterize type or you can just combine these two layers just by selecting these two objects up here coming over here and then doing merge layers. Okay, so I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and do that one. Just flatten everything down that I have. And then what you're going to do is with that layer still selected, you're going to press the Alt key on your keyboard, which will actually duplicate the layer. You'll notice that the icon, uh, your little arrow here, changes into a um, double little arrow. And basically that's going to duplicate the layer. So then all you're going to do now is you're going to hit the down stroke and then left down stroke left down stroke left and you can see what's starting to happen okay you're starting to get a little bit of depth in the shadow and stuff well if you leave it flat you're not going to get a whole lot of um, you're not going to see the depth as much if you're looking at it straight on I mean just imagine like a regular object okay um, if you were looking at something straight on you're not going to see the edges of that object. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to right click on the object. Okay, now that we have this flattened layer, um, I'm sorry, we're going to hit Control T, 
and that's going to transform the object and then you're going to right click and then you'll see this tool either perspective or warp and you can use either one I'm going to go ahead and use perspective to kind of get it started and I'm going to shrink that down I'm going to bring this a little bit up here and I'm going to bring this up a little bit like that and then I'm going to hit OK now I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to hit control I'm going to go ahead and hit control T and right click again and this time I'm going to do warp and then I'm going to kind of warp out this text a little bit and can kind of transform it however you like just kind of tweak it up a little bit here and bring this maybe up a little bit can bring this up a little bit as well kind of get some interesting uh, stretched effects here and just play around with this um, this part of it um, the more you kind of like get an angle on your text the better your 3d um, text is actually going to look so kind of stretch it around however you like it I'm just going to kind of bend it around a little bit and just to kind of make it a little bit more dramatic so you can kind of see what's going to happen here and bring that up and bring that just a little bit more and you can also grab the points in the center here if you want to kind of like tweak the center of the text go ahead and hit OK and so now we have this text that's kind of bent so now since we have some angles some large um, edges here we're not looking at it directly straight on um, we're gonna go ahead and hit alt and then your down arrow and your left arrow down and left down and left down and left as many times as you like and as you start to do that you'll start to see that your text actually is turning uh, you, you have several layers and it's giving you a 3d type of effect and once you have that you can go ahead and merge your layers together so I'll select all the layers and then right click and now I can go merge layers or merge text so now I have this kind of 3d looking layer and if I change the background to a different color like let's say uh, let's make it like this uh, kind of faded blue you'll notice that the top of the text actually it has like a rendered 3d type of effect and now that you have that sort of in place you can actually select just your text layer and go up here to image adjustments uh, and <clears throat> you can do a hue and saturation if you want to and just do a colorize and then change the the color of your of your text and you can change the hue as well I'm just gonna make this red against that blue just to make it stand out go ahead and hit OK and so now you can see we have this nice uh, 3d effect on the text so there you go play around with that effect it's just something really easy to do an easy quick way to get like a 3d look in Photoshop very quickly just using the um, concept of perspective and duplicating layers thanks for watching this is Aaron with PhotoshopDemos.com.